Today's carol is another American song. It came upon the midnight clear, was written in 1849 by Edmund Sears. In 1850, Richard Willis, a composer who trained under Mendelssohn, wrote the melody called Carol, by which it is known in the United States. In 1874, 24 years later, Arthur Sullivan set the lyrics to a tune called Noel, which was adapted from an English melody and which is still the preferred tune in the Commonwealth countries. That's the countries that were once part of the British Empire. I didn't know this difference existed until my first year living in the UK. I was leading music for a group of church leaders and after explaining why I loved this song so much, I launched into the tune I was familiar with, that they were not. They were politely gracious as they tried to follow along, and I was introduced later to the tune they are used to, which, though not the original, is still pleasant. I've always preferred the original tune, as its melody and chord structure lend themselves to a sense of mystery, which is very fitting given the circumstances of the very first Christmas night. The song is remarkable for its focus not in Bethlehem, but in its own time and the contemporary issue of war and peace. Written in 1849, it has long been assumed to be Sears' response to the just-ended Mexican-American War. The verse that always strikes me and that I think is once again very relevant to our weary world is verse 4, which says this, And you, beneath life's crushing load, whose forms are bending low, who toil along the climbing way with painful steps and slow, Look now, for glad and golden hours come swiftly on the wing. O oh, rest beside the weary road, and hear the angels sing. The verse beautifully reminds me of Matthew eleven twenty-eight and 29, when Jesus said, Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Maybe you're weary this year, toiling along with painful steps and slow. Stop and rest in the Savior. Read again the angel's message of good news for all people, that rest and joy and peace are coming.